All right, this is Grade 3, Module 1, Lesson 17, where we are going to continue modeling the relationship between multiplication and division. So what does that mean? Uh, for example, if we have 24 divided by 4, um, we could draw a number bond, like over here, and this number bond has, starts with our 24, and in this case, this 4 represents the number of groups. And then as we're going, we know we need four groups, that's why it says so right here, four groups. And as we're doing our investigation, we'll discover, oh, that there are six in each group, in which case 24 divided by uh, 24 divided by 4 equals 6. Now another way we could have modeled this using a number bond is we could have said, well, we have 24 as our total still, but now each group, so 24 divided by 4 equals, now here, the number 4 is the size of a group. And then the question is, well, how many groups do we need? How many groups do we need until we've reached 24? And of course, it turns out we need 6 groups. So there's 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, and that's how we get 24. Uh, so 24 divided by 4 equals 6. So in this case, the divide by 4 is the number of groups. In this case, divide by 4 is the size of each group. Um, and in really, in both cases, we could have modeled it as um, what times 4 equals 24. That's another way we could have thought of this problem. So you can see in this, we're modeling division two different ways, plus we're relating it to multiplication, and that's really what this lesson's all about. So in this problem, we have a teacher. She puts 32 students into groups of four. How many groups does she make? And we're going to make a tape diagram. Now, the way I model this, I'm going to say, okay, she puts them into groups of four. So I'm going to put this a group, and I'm going to label this group of four. And then I know we have 32 students total. 32 students total. And then the question is, how many groups are there? And then this is where we would put dot, 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 All right. So that's how I would model it. I might, I might even use a different color here and just say, okay, well, this is going to be a tape diagram, but we don't know how many of these boxes we're going to need. And so that's what I would do. Uh, the problem, if we wanted to, we can write this as 32 divided by 4. And of course, as the students work on this, they're going to discover that they need 8 groups. In this problem, we have a store clerk arranging 24 toothbrushes into 4 equal rows. How many toothbrushes are in each row? So I would model this. Here's my tape diagram, and we know that there's going to be four equal rows, so I'm going to draw four equal rows, and I'm going to put 24 toothbrushes right here as our total. Brushes. And then um, we don't know how many are in each one, so I'm going to put question mark toothbrushes right here because this says we don't know how many brushes. Oops, I <laughs> changed it to blue. Okay, it's blue now. Uh, we don't know how many toothbrushes are in each row. Uh, if we were to model this or write this as a division problem, it would be 24 divided by 4. And of course, as we solve this problem, we'll discover that we need 6 in each row. And of course, keep in mind, if a student wanted to, the student could say blank times 4 equals 24 and use her multiplication facts to connect that with the division. All right, Because really, multiplication and division, they go hand in hand.
And that is, what is this, Lesson 17. And that, I'm going to say it again, that's Lesson 17.